On behalf of the Prudential Assurance Company, it is my very pleasant duty to welcome you here today. The face of prudence. An iconic image, known by millions around the world, and representing our company. A company with over 165 years of history. Our powerful brand is well known and highly regarded. We've come a long way. But to really understand the present, we must first understand our past. 1848. Industrialization is sweeping across Europe, bringing both uncertainty and opportunity for all classes. There's a demand for better workers' rights. People are looking for a sense of security. And in this year, on the 30th of May, a group of Victorian gentlemen respond to these turbulent times by forming the Prudential Mutual Assurance Investment and Loan Association. Its aim, to infix habits of prudence among many individuals. To represent the values of the business, the figure of prudence is adopted as the symbol of the company. To this day, she still carries her arrow, signifying strength of purpose, serpent, the ancient symbol of wisdom, and mirror, representing self-awareness. 1854, the company widens its reach by opening its industrial branch, introducing a new concept, penny policies for the industrial working class population. To build the business, the company introduces a new breed of salesmen who travel door to door armed with statistics and tables, the men from the Prue. And with this new market, sales grow dramatically. 1871. The company is the first in the City of London to employ women as clerks. Through the 1870s, the company grows considerably. In 1873, there are 47 agents. By 1888, there are 10,609. By 1879, the company has outgrown its premises at Ludgate Hill and moves into the striking, purpose-built Hoban Bar's headquarters. By 1898, Prudential has become the number one life company in the United Kingdom, with almost £30 million in accumulated funds. It's now at the heart of everyday life. Nearly one in three households has a policy with the Prue. April 14, 1912. SS Titanic sinks on its maiden voyage. Prudential promptly pays out claims on 292 passengers. Hardly any disaster could occur without Prudential in some way providing security to the deprived and bereft. By the end of the First World War, Prudential has paid claims representing almost a third of the British soldiers killed. In 1919, Prudential offers general insurance for the first time, which enables the company to start an extraordinary international expansion. In India, in 1923, the first overseas life branch is established, with the first policy being sold to a tea planter in Assam. The business soon covered the whole of the subcontinent, with offices in Bombay, Calcutta, Ceylon and Delhi. In 1924, Prudential expands to Malaysia, and by 1931, a branch is established in Raffles Square, Singapore. By 1939, Prudential's overseas business is rivaling the success of its UK operations. By the end of the Second World War, Prudential has paid five and a half million pounds in claims on nearly 110,000 deaths. 1949, the famous Man from the Prue advertising campaign is launched. 1967, 12 million people watch the first ever Prudential commercials on British television. The man from the Prue is truly established as a household name. Talk it over with the man from the Prudential. Throughout the 70s and 80s, Prudential continues to grow and respond to customers' changing needs. In 1986, Prudential gains a firm foothold in the United States, the world's largest life insurance and retirement savings market with the acquisition of Jackson National Life Insurance Company. With 78 million baby boomers reaching retirement over the next 20 years, Jackson is well placed to help them meet their needs for retirement income. 
1994 is a milestone year as Prudential, recognizing the high potential for growth and expansion across Asia, establishes Prudential Corporation Asia. The regional head office in Hong Kong sets out to expand operations beyond Malaysia, Singapore and Hong Kong. Businesses are soon established in Indonesia, Thailand, Vietnam and the Philippines. In the UK in 1999, Prudential strengthens the group's investment management opportunities with the acquisition of fund managers M&G. M&G itself has a long history of innovation. In 1931, the company launched the first ever unit trust in the United Kingdom. Over the next 12 years, Prudential is to become the leading international life insurer in Asia expanding into 13 markets and meeting the savings and protection needs of a fast-growing middle class across the region. Prudential has established strong distribution channels, including partnerships with banks across the region and an extensive network of trained agents. 2012, Prudential's Asia Asset Management business, one of the leading fund managers in the region, is rebranded as East Spring Investments, paving the way for its expansion into the US in the same year. In the United Kingdom, Prudential is a leading life and pensions provider to around 7 million customers with a focus on pensions, saving and investments. Prudential now has around 24 million insurance customers, over 26,000 employees, more than 400,000 agents in Asia, four stock exchange listings in London, Hong Kong, New York and Singapore, and more than £400 billion of assets under management. We've come a long way, not only with the expansion of our business, but also our work in giving back to the communities we live and work in. Today, Prudential is a company with a broader scope, a wider geographic spread and greater investment power than could ever have been imagined in 1848. But our founding principles of integrity, security and prudence still guide us in promoting long-term financial security for our customers and building social and economic value in our communities around the world.